So when it's time to analyze your SQL Server, go download the consultant toolkit and extract it into a folder. Here I've got it in C temp. Then I'm going to fire open a command prompt. I'm going to go into that folder. And then I'm going to run it. Now you can also see here, of course, the super secret name of the app there. Now it's going to go connect by default to localhost, but if you wanted to go connect to a different SQL Server, you can read the documentation on which SQL Server you go and connect to, what usernames and passwords you can pass in, and also whether or not you want to run it with the deep dive parameter, which runs even more diagnostic queries, giving you more information. It runs through and runs a lot of different SQL Server queries, and you can see it exporting the data to Excel as it goes. It's running things like SP Blitz, SP Blitz Index, SP Blitz Cache, to give you all kinds of information about whether the server is in a safe place, how large it is, what kind of workloads it's doing, like what kind of queries it's running, and where some of the low-hanging fruit is in terms of indexing and performance tuning. Now it's going to go through and run this. By default, it runs a, a pretty decent set of queries. In the meantime, while it goes ahead and runs it, taking, say, one or two minutes isn't unusual at all. We'll go ahead and move that over to the side. Over in this folder over here, you'll notice a couple of uh, subfolders, child folders. Output is where it's doing its work. It's putting out all the execution plans, building the Excel spreadsheet here. One that it's working on is the second one, I believe. Yep, today's the 28th. So it's dumping out things like execution plans, writing to a spreadsheet. You can see by the file names that it's putting out the top queries by plan quantity, most recent compilations, number of tempdb spills, writes, and all of that. Let's go ahead and switch over to output that we have from an earlier run. Oh, now it's finished. It says go ahead and uh, go into the output folder and email us the zip file. Now we do that so that your clients can just have it go directly to you. They can just then go into this folder, grab this zip file that was created, and then send it directly to you. Let's go look at the output of another one from one that I'd run earlier. You notice that we got a lot of queries in here by CPU, by average CPU duration. The place that you start is in the Excel spreadsheet. And the Excel spreadsheet is really the core deliverable of this thing. Let's go double click on it. And it's got a whole bunch of tabs in here. First, it's got a little bit of an introduction in case your clients open it up and they want to know what they're looking at. Then the next tab that I go and look at is the uptime tab. The uptime tab has exactly what you think it has, the number of days of uptime the server has had, when it last started up, and then some basic information about health, like the server name, what version it is, whether or not it's in a cluster or an availability group, how much data you're looking at here, about 60 gigs worth of data on this one, how much RAM it has, how many cores, gives me a quick idea of roughly what kind of server I'm dealing with. Then on the health tab, this is the output of SP Blitz, where it gives you a prioritized health check of things that might be a problem on the SQL server. The most urgent stuff goes up top. For example, a lack of backups, no check DB. And then if I scroll down further, I can see things like whether or not they've set cost threshold for parallelism, what kind of top weight types they've had, whether or not it's a VM and how much uh, drive space they have free. This first tab here, this is the second tab, I guess, the health tab, gives me an idea of the people who are managing the system. Is this thing being getting a lot of hands-on loving care from folks, or is this something that maybe has been left kind of by the wayside? Then I'll go over to the weights tab, and the weights tab tells me over the certain number of time that this thing has been started up, what have been the top weight types on that server. Gives me an idea for how overworked this server is. Then, based on whatever the top weight types are, that determines where I go next. For example, do I go look at desperately needed missing indexes? Or do I maybe go look at which plans are reading the most data? If you're used to reading things like SP Blitz Cache, you'll notice that the queries are here, plus warnings about the queries, explaining to you some of the things that we caught inside the execution plans. We've got some fun ones here, row goals and non-sargeables. Now you'll see that, see in this tab, it says queries by total reads, and then it ranks them one to 10. Well, that's where the execution plans come back out in that folder. For example, if you want to see more about the top queries by reads, you can look down through this list. Oh, it was top queries by logical reads here. Let's go back up to that. So here's the top queries by logical reads. If I have a question about one of those, I can just go drag and drop it over into SQL Server Management Studio. 
and then I can get the execution plans right there without having to copy paste a bunch of stuff into files. All that data is readily and easily available inside those output folders. So all you have to do is send yourself that zip file and boom, you've got tons of diagnostic information about that SQL server.